a crocodile ripping through the skies imagine a powerful, fast, and ruthless creature that soars not through the depths of the ocean, but through the heavens. A monster that can not only rain fire down on its enemies from above, but also target ground objectives with astonishing precision. This monster is none other than the Kamovka 52, the Russian alligator, which has earned the title of the deadliest helicopter in the world. In this video we delve deep into the heart of this war machine and uncover the secrets of its power and efficiency. Has the K-52 truly, like a ferocious crocodile, achieved victory in the bloody battles of Ukraine? Join us as we answer this crucial question. The Kamovka 52, a colossal iron giant of the skies, is the culmination of decades of research and development by Russian engineers. Designed in the early 1990s with the goal of creating a powerful and agile attack helicopter. This bird of prey boasts a unique coaxial rotor design that grants it unparalleled maneuverability. However, like any weapon, the K-52 is not without its weaknesses. While its electronic warfare systems are advanced, they may be vulnerable to modern air defense systems. Additionally, the K-52's substantial weight and size limit its maneuverability in urban and forested environments. As an attack helicopter, the Kamovka 52 is equipped with a wide array of advanced weaponry to maximize its impact on the battlefield. The 30mm 2 of 42 autocannon serves as its primary weapon, capable of firing various types of ammunition, including armor piercing and high explosive rounds. Additionally, the K-52 can carry a variety of anti-tank, anti-air and rocket propelled missiles, allowing it to engage a wide range of ground and air targets. However, how effective these weapons are in actual combat depends on numerous factors, including tactics employed, environmental conditions, and the nature of the threats faced. Evidence from the war in Ukraine suggests that the K-52 has successfully utilized its armament to support ground troops and destroy enemy targets. Nevertheless, like any weapon system, it remains vulnerable to modern threats such as advanced air defense systems. In the Ukraine war, the Kamovka 52 has faced significant challenges from Ukrainian air defense systems. Short-range missile systems like the Stinger and Igla, employed by Ukrainian armed forces and resistance groups, pose a substantial threat to the K-52. These systems can target attack helicopters at low to medium altitudes. Additionally, self-propelled artillery systems and stationary air defense systems, such as the Buk and S-300, can also pose a danger to the K-52. These systems offer a wider defensive coverage with longer ranges and the ability to track multiple targets. Furthermore, the use of drones for target acquisition and guiding air defense fire has created new challenges for the K-52. Numerous reports have emerged of Kamovka 52 helicopters being destroyed in the Ukraine war. These reports are often published by Ukrainian armed forces, independent news organizations and military analysts, and are usually accompanied by images and videos of the helicopter's wreckage. However, due to the dynamic and complex nature of war, verifying these reports accurately and determining the exact number of Ka-52s destroyed is challenging. War propaganda can also influence the accuracy of these reports, as both sides involved in the conflict often exaggerate their successes and downplay their failures. Therefore, to accurately assess the situation, it is necessary to consult multiple sources and independent analyses. In this video we delved into one of the world's most powerful attack helicopters, the Kamovka 52. From its origins and unique design to its deadly weaponry and performance on the Ukrainian battlefield, we explored this aerial behemoth. Despite its capabilities, we saw how vulnerable it is to modern air defense systems and innovative tactics. We also examined reports of the K-52's destruction in Ukraine and the challenges in verifying these claims. Ultimately. The war in Ukraine has shown that even the most powerful military equipment is vulnerable to a combination of human, technical and tactical factors. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Military Weapons 365 channel and support us by liking the video. In future videos, we will explore other military equipment and the latest developments in the defense industry.